Good morning everyone. As in the previous class we have studied about land and land use. Today we will study conservation of land resources. What is the importance of the conservation of land resources and how can we conserve our land resources. <clears throat> we know the population is growing largely and their demands are also increasing. Population, as the population increases, the demand of their needs are also increasing so that we are destroying the large forest cover and many of the arable land, cultivable land also has to be created to fear of losing their natural resources. When we are increasing the area for cultivation, destroying the natural forest regions, we are destroying our nature. So that uh, also the present rate of uh, degradation, how the land is degraded due to the deforestation and uh, usage of pesticides etc. Many ways we are destroying our nature. So the present rate of degradation of land must be checked that afforestation, land reclamation or recovery of wasteland etc. Regulated use of chemical pesticides and fertilizers and checks over the overgrowth. Raising. These are the some common methods we need to use or follow to conserve land, uh, land resources. We have to check that uh, afforestation has to be done and the land reclamation or recovery of the wasteland etc. Regulated use of chemicals and pesticides, uh, pesticides etc. So these all we have to check so that we can conserve our land resources. Mostly sometimes the landslides are occurring during the rainy season when and due to ex, uh, during the uh, uh, extreme monsoon season also landslides okay land falls down large mass of land falls down or uh, mass movement of rock from the on the debris on the earth also falling down from the mountainous region to the down of the earth okay to the slope of the earth they often take place in the conjunction or in this which is connected with the earthquakes also and uh, landslides can be occurred due to earthquakes floods and volcanoes also this may be the reason of landslides also now we can say a prolonged or continuous spell of rainfall a torrential rainfall sometimes in the monsoon season continuously or a torrential rainfall occurs this also can uh, cause the heavy landslide that can block the flow of the river when landslides occur falling into the river the flow of a river also can be blocked also this can cause uh, large uh, havoc or the uh, problems in the settlements also downstream of the river there are settlements the people live there villages are there these will be inundated all these regions now in the hilly terrains also landslides have been a major and widely spread natural disaster this can also often strike life and property will be destroyed here when the landslides occur in the hilly regions also and uh, there are uh, these regions also sometimes uh, you know, completely uh, removed because large areas will be um, removed from the mountainous region also due to the uh, landslides. We can say a massive, uh, we in the uh, history we will study the massive landslide hit a Panji village near Rekongpo in a Kinau district of the Himachal Pradesh which damaged about 200 meters of stretch of the Hindustan Tibet Road National Highway number 22. Due to this uh, such kind of landslide, large areas of the road was uh, washed away. So this landslide uh, was also triggered by intense blasting at the Panji village. Due to this blasting, this weak zone of uh, slope collapsed and uh, caused intense damage to the road and uh, nearby village. Due to the blasting done in this region and this area was completely washed away. So the Panji village was completely vacated, people were also evacuated from there and the village was completely vacated to avoid any possible loss of life in the uh, later on. So the advancement in scientific technologies or techniques have empowered uh, us to understand
understand the what are the factors cause landslide. Now modern technology is available. How landslides occur? What reasons are okay? So we can manage them also. So we can take the precautions and in order to protect the life and property also. Some broad mitigations or some type of steps we have taken or the techniques of landslides are following. Hazard mapping to locate areas prone to landslides. We can uh, do it with the modern technology, it is available. We can do the mapping or locating the areas which is prone to uh, landslides, which can landslides can be occurred frequent, uh, frequently. So, such areas can be avoided for building settlements. Uh, these are weak zones that should be avoided. Then, construction of uh, retention or withholding wall to stop land from uh, slipping also in the mountainous regions you might have uh, seen that some of the regions uh, net, uh, nets are laid that iron uh, nets are laid there and such kind of uh, nets or walls can be constructed on the roadsides and etc if there are these regions if there are landslides occurring then also increase in the vegetation cover to arrest landslide vegetation cover we how to plant the trees in the mountainous and hilly regions so this also uh, stop or reduce the soil erosion so that the landslides are also can be uh, prevented the surface drainage control works to control the movement of landslide along with the rainwater and spring flows also surface uh, drainage controls that means uh, on the top of the uh, uh, earth surface on the earth surface we have to uh, also control the drainage system or the rivers uh, and the smaller check dams can be constructed in between the uh, rivers uh, so that uh, it can also reduce the flow of rainwater and uh, uh, springs which are also flowing from the mountainous regions that's all for today